guys, what's up? This is Skylar. It's been a while since I've been here, but I wanted to figure out what I really wanted to do on this channel. You know, I've been going back and forth with events and you, but I really find my love in interior design. So we're going to be having quite a few um, video tutorials on some basic you know, interior design philosophies. And today we are going to talk about what to put behind a sofa and also how to warm up a room. So as you can see right here, I am sitting on this lovely Moroccan inspired couch by, I should know this, right? <laughs> uh, by Tia. Yeah, Tia. And I'll leave a link below. Um, for some of the creators that I mentioned um, in this series and this video. Um, as you can see, um, over here I am sitting on the sofa and behind me I actually have a console table that I put a few chotskis on. Um, I decided here that I'm going to put a table behind this couch uh, because I didn't want to take away from the beautiful window that we have back here. Um, this beautiful monkey pod tree and then my bathhouse behind here just adds such dimension to the room. So I decided to kind of, you know, keep with the color scheme of the golds and the whites and the browns. Um, so I got this lovely globe behind me from Apple Fall that I put here. And I believe this is a fancy decor piece called the bean. Yep, the golden bean. And I do believe that this is uh, free. Uh, don't mark my words, but I do believe it's free. And this definitely is a gift also from the Gallant Magazine. Um, you can pick it up at Dust Bunny. And then I also have another sculptural piece here, which I also believe is from Fancy Decor. So I kind of kept it simple. Um, I wanted to put a little pop of green to uh, blend in the trees. And then I also have this um, shadow box that I purchased from um, Luck to add a little dimension to this space. So, uh, yeah, this is the first demonstration of a couch um, with a console table and a few things um, that you like to put behind it. But if you do have a window or a beautiful fire pit like I do, try not to clutter it with too much so you can enjoy the view of the back, you know, so you can enjoy the view outside. Okay, here guys um, is a demonstration of putting a large, giant piece of art behind a sofa. Um, it does add balance and it looks symmetrical, you know, and obviously you can put like a couple of plants or lamps on either side of the couch, you know, it, just to make it look more steady, you know, to kind of give it a vocal point. Now, this particular build that I'm demonstrating here was a bit tricky because of all the windows, but I just happen to have a piece of art that fit perfectly between uh, you know, between the wall here. And then what I did was, um, you know, I added a few plants, uh, to try to balance it because obviously if this was all a solid wall, I would have it, have it placed more in the center, but because of the way that this is built, I'd ha I had to, uh, have it, you know, off to the right a bit. So I added the plants to give it, uh, what do you call it? You know, symmetrical symmetry right is that what you call it yep that's it you know my friend is he always makes fun of me because i mispronounce my own words in my own language and it, and it and it's really funny to her i don't really want to show you the rest of this because i'm still uh designing but i did want to give you an idea of just putting a giant piece of art behind a sofa and adding some balance by putting something on either side of uh the furniture but this is definitely um, a lot of fun to do here. I, it's challenging because I have so many windows in this build. And I'll definitely give you a home tour of all the homes that I'm doing. I have 16 parcels that uh, Izzy and I are going to be renting out. And we're designing them 
all differently with different vibes so you can choose you know how you're feeling and uh, you know come and spend a weekend with your bay at one of our rentals you know it's gonna be very affordable um, very interactive we have boats but I don't want to really get into all of that because this is a design video right now so uh, yeah this is an example of a, a big piece of art behind a couch or a sofa however you want to call it okay over here um, this is a very 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 small house I had very limited space as a matter of fact I could fit another just well, I put some cushions down, um, but I couldn't fit like a love seat or a traditional armchair here. So this is my sofa. Um, I didn't want to back it up against a wall because of the blocking doors, obviously. And I didn't want to put it here, even though I'm not really happy with how big this TV is. Uh, I had to put one for the purposes. Um, but again, we're just talking about behind the sofa right now. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so we already talked about uh, putting a large piece of art and then a console table with some trinkets. Here, uh, I put, um, you know, like a, a sculpture texture piece and some leaning art back here. Uh, you can also put uh, macrame or metal pieces, you know, just gives the, the space a little bit more dimension. So you don't always have to use framed art hanging on the wall. Don't be afraid to... Um, find, uh, you know, some textural uh, pieces that you can put as a focal point for the room. This is an African-inspired room, which I absolutely love, 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 technically. Um, warm browns and cognacs uh, just are just so relaxing and uh, stress-free, and I absolutely love it. Um, I didn't hang this picture up. Um, I did lean it against the wall, so don't be afraid to lean art against the wall. It's also uh, very trendy to do something like that. Uh, but you can also put, you know, a textural piece behind the sofa, like I have here, a three-dimensional type of item, not just a flat piece of art, you know. Explore with macrame. Um, uh, what are those things called? Uh, I can't think of it right now. Um, when I do, I'll come up with it. Uh, but yeah, if, if you can find something that leans against the wall and doesn't cause, you know, a lot of problems walking behind your furniture, hey, go for it, you know? Oh, and these beautiful wooden baskets I put back here, um, they also add dimension to the room because they're not flat, once again. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I did get this set from B Designs, um, in case you guys are wondering. It has wonderful bento poses and it fits really nicely in this small space uh yeah and then you can just sit here comfortably with like five people and watch all righty guys oh i just love this this is izzy's project it's a beautiful asian inspired home that is also going to be for rent um over here even though i'm not sitting behind a, a traditional uh sofa or couch and I am on a katatsu is that how you pronounce it katatsu katatsu um, we'll just imagine there's a sofa or a couch here it, it still gives the same point this is when you put absolutely nothing behind your couch however you use wallpaper something very very interesting um, it's kind of hard to do uh, but it's very very beautiful if you put a stunning wallpaper behind your behind your sofa and uh, maybe this is what I was looking for what do you call these well this is a hanging scroll but they have another name for them too um, she did put a hanging scroll back here but if she put absolutely nothing back here it would still be fabulous because of the stunning wallpaper I mean you could also add some light scones uh, sconces I mean I see how I mispronounce it they call it a scone i'm hungry i want a scone from starbucks anyway yeah you put a sconce back here uh or a few uh and just a lovely wallpaper and put absolutely nothing else you know uh, the wallpaper acts like a piece of art 
So that's another option you can use behind your sofa as well. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you recognize this couch. It came from the Deco Crate. And yes, I'm so excited. There's another one coming out uh, for October. This came from Fourth Wall. Um, but here's another example of what you can put behind a sofa. If you do happen to have a window, um, and it's kind of small, you know, it kind of blocks your ability to put any type of art behind it. So why not just put some curtains or drapes uh, to give it more of a, of a feel, you know, um, just to give it some depth. Um, this is my own private home, and I just put whatever I want in here. <laughs> and I love it. So I got all kind of fun whimsical things in my home um but yeah i just went ahead and i put these be oh look at here look at here oh no 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 we can't be having that i'm a perfectionist when it comes to that okay that's better okay sorry about that but yeah i just went ahead and i put some drapes so you could put drapes behind a sofa there's absolutely nothing wrong with that now, this is a mistake that a lot of people make in real life, and I'm sure they do on SL as well, and I have too until I learn better. You don't want to place your drapes right above your window. Uh, like, I have this in linked parts, but this is an example. You don't want to put them over here. And the reason why is it makes your room look crunched and smaller and just condensed. You know what I mean? So, um always hang your curtains no matter where you're decorating uh two inches is usually the standard uh two inches below the the ceiling and it'll give your room more more height um and again this is a beautiful texture um to put uh in your home and again i added some balance with a couple of plants on either side of the uh, sofa here and then I add to this beautiful fluffy rug so my feet are nice and cozy after walking on that hardwood floor um, I know this is talking about what uh, what we're doing behind the sofa but I also wanted to incorporate how to make your home a bit uh, more uh, warm and cozy and and a few things to do that is to add curtains and rugs and cushions and pillows you know uh, to add uh, you know the warmth and coziness to your home and, and that's what I did here and I added some cute little edible food here um, that is interactable it's from Sino see so when you click it you get this cute little pop-up menu if you want to eat anything but yeah this is another example of what to put behind a sofa or couch and that would be a curtain or um, a drape This is one of my favorite places to hang out and just chillax and, you know, take a load off. Um, but plants make the world go round. Now, this uh, design here was an inspiration from the Gallant magazine. Um, so I can't really take credit for it. However, I definitely wanted to showcase another way to enhance uh, the look of your home with putting plants behind your couch. Now there are several ways to do it and this is one of them. Just, you know, go with the flow and just freely put them all around um, your living room. Even though this is an outside patio, if it had four walls, it would still look amazing, you know? Um, but don't be scared to just put different plants um, I have some cactus back here and some bird of paradise and uh, some, um, I don't know what the name of these plants are. This is a cantia plant and a lacasia plant oversized. So I have different plants from different stores. Uh, I believe it's hive and dust bunny that I'm showcasing here. Um, but the amount of greenery that you put in your home can really add like a rip, very zen stress -free, free environment for you so don't be afraid to put plants behind your couch there's absolutely nothing wrong with that um it's absolutely stunning to look at 
very relaxing and I mean there's I wish I could have more you know instead of being a crazy cat lady I'll be a crazy plant lady because I'm not really into cats I'm not saying that they're not a wonderful pet they're just not a pet for me because I have a lot of friends who have cats and I just like other people's cats I don't want one for me but indoor plants are amazing um I will show you another um, option of how to put plants in your home. This way, obviously, is just to set them around on the floor, hang them on the ceiling. Um, a floating shelf with plants also looks nice, so let's head on over. Snoop, can you be quiet? Yes, I have a beagle and he loves to howl, and I'm not going to edit it out because I just don't want to. Anyway, I'm going to show you an example of... Um, Oh my god, what did I do? What did I do? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you an example of putting um, plants on hanging shelves. Here is an example of shelves with leaning art. Um, you know, you can get like a skinny shelf uh, and put some art on it. Um, this is actually Izzy's house. And here she has some postcards um, that lean up against the wall. And the shelves are very skinny. Um, you know, and this was actually already made like this, but you can buy these shelves independently and put your own art in it. And I think that would be really cool. These look like postcards, actually, but you can actually do, like, pictures with frames. Lean them up against a wall, um in varying heights like you know kind of like a stair stepper height you know and that adds a lot of texture and and dimension as well to your home and uh, she also has a little console table down here with um, some herbs and this cute little candle oh I love that candle it's from Mish Mish the pumpkin bunny candle love it but here, yeah, this is uh, just some skinny shelves with uh, some leaning art, which I think is really, really beautiful. Um, and she did not put her uh, sofa against the wall, which I absolutely love because it gives you, you know, the ability to move throughout the home um, freely without, you know, bumping into stuff. So that was really amazing. And she has this cute little puffy bean bag here to sit in. But yeah, this is an amazing um, piece of art that you can put behind a sofa to give your room that extra oomph. Okay, here is my woman cave. Yes, that's what I called it, my woman cave. <laughs> I wanted to incorporate some nice deep colors that are usually... Uh, associated with a man cave but put my little feminine touch to it you know so this is an example of some shelves with plants on it now this is quite minimal you can go crazy and just like you know put shelves all behind the couch and just all different types of succulent plants and uh, trailing plants and and really really brighten up the room I decided to kind of balance it out with with these awesome um frames here from um oh what do you call oh where did these come from ik what is ik i forgot what ik is oh um insert insert case i don't know i just don't know i can't read the english language anymore <laughs> but i'll leave a link below where you can get these if you like them um but yeah, this is an example of putting uh, shelves behind your sofa, couch, or love seat, and add some plants to it to give it a little pop of color. This is actually my little giraffe room. Uh, giraffes are like my absolute favorite, 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 favorite animal in the whole wide world. So um, I wanted to make this my giraffe room, but I kind of went a little crazy with these plants here on the shelf because um, I just love the, the little pop of green color uh, to this space and I love these rope curtains and my little old-school stereo yes and my wooden brim to put stuff down on <laughs> ashtray to smoke my uh, 
you know what um but yeah definitely put some shelving behind your um your couch also to add uh, some nice dimension to the room that's a really really good idea uh, instead of just putting art or do both you know and uh, just have fun with it okay I apologize this room isn't really done but I did want to give you a quick example of something else you can put behind your sofa and of course a mirror you can't go wrong with a beautiful mirror. Um, I tell you, the day SL allows us to see reflections in mirrors, it will be a game changer. I have heard rumors they're out there where, I don't know, I really haven't looked to be honest with you, but um, sure, put a mirror up. I mean, it adds so much to the room, so much elegance. You know, depending, they have, you know, they have more contemporary mirrors that you can add, you know, if you're going to do something contemporary here, I'm leaning more towards elegant, um, refined. I'm, again, not finished decorating this room. I'm unsure about this uh, table here. I would maybe want to put a wood table to uh, kind of match to this wood plant. But again, I'm not done with this, but I did put up this mirror in this couch and I fell absolutely in love. Um, so putting up a mirror behind a sofa is also a very very good idea for home decor well guys i hope you enjoyed this video um this concludes um this segment of what to put behind a sofa and how to warm up your home. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have learned some things. Um, just a quick recap, giant art, like I displayed behind this particular sofa. Oh, I didn't cover gallery walls, but a gallery wall is also um, something really awesome. That's basically a bunch of different pictures in frames of different sizes and dimensions to put behind a couch and I'm sorry I didn't demonstrate that but um, that's also something really good to put behind a sofa I, I go back and forth with couch and sofa so I I don't know anyway also shelves with leaning art and uh, sculptural textural pieces like macrame metal pieces or like that leaning African art that I put in that small home a uh, beautiful mirror or mirrors you can add more than one mirror you know and add like a little mirror gallery uh, indoor plants of course with or without shelves i mean green is just a feel good fun feel better kind of plant i mean i just love plants just it just adds so much to any any decor just bring the outdoors indoors you know don't be afraid of that uh shelving uh with plants or trinkets on it um you could put like those little maps on your wall or you could put absolutely nothing at all and have a stunning wallpaper. Um, leaning art. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment and just, you know, res stuff. Put it on the wall. See if you like it, you know. There is really no wrong way to do things. I mean, yeah, there's some tips and tricks to make your home look better, like hanging your curtains higher than the, uh, than the window frame. Also, uh, another tip is when you're putting artwork in your home, uh it's good to put your artwork at eye level of your avatar so i mean that's real life too you you know you put your artwork eye level i mean there are in some cases you don't but for the most part you know that is kind of what you do but anyway i am looking forward to doing some more videos um on interior decorating showing you around the different homes that i have uh decorated and hopefully you guys have learned anything if you have any um questions feel free to leave a comment below um and yeah have a wonderful second life talk to you later